Only back in the motherfucking building like the ceiling. It's your boy SS. Motherfucking talk my shit podcast, you know what I'm saying? Episode three. I feel like we did real good the other day with, you know, just kind of honing in on the genesis of this whole shit and Triple D pioneers and all of that shit. Uh, look at Cooler. Boy, I need to focus you on the video. But I know a lot of people hit my inbox and shit telling me it was some people that I forgot as far as the first people on the scene and shit like that. Like DSR, them niggas was some of the first people out. Lil Twist, one of the first ones out. Uh, like I said, Junior Lil Tony and them niggas. I did forget Done. I forgot Done. Uh, and that's nigga. Done and Chris, nigga, say. Because uh, he was on that whole killing mode. But see, this all happening around the same time. Done. Dino, boy. D I N O. Say. Talking about, nigga, was my favorite nigga, my favorite rapper, that nigga Dino, bro. I wish that nigga would have never even stopped rapping type shit. I wish bro would have kept rapping, bro. Real talk, because I fucked with Dino so hard, my nigga. And the collab and all that shit we did was so. Oh. I'm forgetting. And shout out to Mike T, because Mike T, one of the niggas who hit my inbox and let me know, like, bro, there's some people that you forgot type shit, too. Straight up, Mike T. Uh, Ray Powell. It's one dude I forgot, too. Like, he was one of the ones who was at the early beginning of this shit, too, because me and bro, look at you. Uh, me and bro dropped our shit on the same day. This is my first CD. We dropped our shit on the same day. Both our classes on the side of each other, everything. Yeah, y'all go hit up uh, Ray P. He'll tell y'all, like, this shit was so crazy. Bro had, <laughs> you know, we young and shit. Bro had really flexed on a nigga like, a nigga ain't gonna sell shit, this, that, and the third. This is my first shit, so I really don't. Man, say, nigga was already so tapped in, though. Nigga, I had done sold out of all of everything that I had, bro. Every city that I had and had a big, big wide of cash, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it just so happened, nigga, me and Ray P class on the side of each other. He had just told me I wasn't going to sell shit. Man, I seen bro going in that class and flex with that bag and got the laugh and it just told like, bitch, I'm a... <laughs> it went up from right there. No bullshit. No rap cap at all. Anybody who was there to see her in it, y'all know what time it was like. And, you know, that ain't got shit to say negative or no shit like that, but we're going to tell the story how it is. And that's just what it is. And we can't leave out. Because we're going to involve everything. We can't leave out. Uh, Lil Fred. <coughs> can't leave that out. Uh, Flaming Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? This is where people like Hot B. Uh, the president. SP the president. Um. Ice B, it's a bunch of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna be able to call everybody. I'm gonna be done for God, you know what I'm saying? But y'all just tap in and let a nigga know, fool, and I'll go back over this shit. But I'm just really trying to establish some ground as far as like what I saw, what I feel, you know what I'm saying? But I, I do wanna stay fat, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna be on here on no, but it's impossible for me to call every fucking name, bro. Uh, we definitely gonna get into some current events and all of that shit. Now, nah, straight up, Mike T. And Ju for sure. And Ju been on the production, all of that shit. Straight salute, Ju. Like, and you jumped out the gate here. No cap. I ain't gonna cap it all for a nigga, but. Bro jumped out the gate here. I was fucking with it all the way. Still fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Salute, but. We're gonna get into some current events. All that shit. Um, we're gonna talk about. The passing of Pops, <coughs> John Witherspoon, I want to dedicate this whole shit to do, because, like, e easily, 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 <coughs> one of the, like, overlooked greats, bro. Like, dude is the shit, bro. Like, dude been on one. Like, he done raised half of us, you know what I'm saying? Like, it make you kind of really question Hollywood, like, damn, how they be really, you know what I'm saying? But... That's just how shit go, and I get it. But I'm just saying, you know, get niggas they flowers while they hear I fuck with them. I'm glad I got the pleasure of meeting them. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. It's crazy, man. It's a crazy world. 
we'll dive a little bit more into current events. I just want to touch on shit. We're going to get into that. Uh, shout out to Dallas Wall Street. I want to just make sure I gave them a shout out, bro, because I fuck with them over there. You know what I'm saying? I really heavily fuck with them over there. And niggas be on some genuine good business shit. And you always got to salute that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I want to salute a bunch of my regular partners and shit, like little Chris. I'm on live and shit. But I'm going to give a shout out to, uh, damn, RIP, bro. I couldn't even say little Chris without even thinking. You know what I'm saying? Damn, then they hit me with Hall of Fame. Then they hit me with Fat Chris. Then they hit me with Lil Zeke. Then they hit me with, man, Jeff, man, say it. This shit a fool. Shout out to the real ones while they here. You know what I'm saying? Fuck a, 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 a rap. Fuck a motherfucking beat, video, all that shit. It's real niggas who ain't doing none of that shit, bro. Shout out Lil Charles, bro. One of the most genuine niggas I done ever met, bro. Straight up. And that's just, you know, how shit go, my nigga. You never know. That's why you got to be a little bit humble. At the same time, keep a foot on the motherfucking neck, but nigga got to remain humble too and do numbers. We gonna get it to B2K. That whole look crazy ass <coughs> fiasco. <coughs> <coughs> they got going on. Jesus Christ. I might have to stop smoking on this one. That's some whole crazy shit. We gonna get into that as far as with April in between both of them and some whole more shit. I think that's her name. She out of girl. And it's really just a fool because you can see all the bitches low key championing that shit. These hoes really just want to belong to the squad, bro. A lot of times, these hoes do want to belong to the squad. Uh, what else can we talk about? Oh my God. Okay, so this, this was a story that I was watching on uh, Angela Yee. We're going to get into her too because I, I really want to address that whole shit and how these feminists be trying to just. Both go out bully and push everybody to fuck around while they do what they want to do. But be so quick and slick to say something as soon as you... No, hell no, nah, bro. And I admire, admire, like, and this before any of this, Angela Yee's, her wit, her her ability to come up with a comeback, like, off real, like, she, she dope. You could tell she be on her shit. Like, she be always well studied before they even hit the earth. I love all of that, but just like the, the good, I can see the bad, too. And she a motherfucker, bro. She is a motherfucker, bro. Like, anyway, on the podcast, they had Young M.A. on the podcast. And I don't know how they got into it, but they were talking about, you know, would you eat a pussy on the first day type shit, do 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 And M.A. like, nah, hell no, nah, I got to be my old lady, woo, woo, woo. But the question that threw me all the way the fuck off was fucking... She asked her, did she walk around? Like, cause she like, I just fuck on her. She like, damn, though, so do you walk around with that hoe on? You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is fucking crazy. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. Is that a real question? Like, let's see. Yeah, right. But is that even a real question? Like, all my homegirls who walk around, you know, strapping shit down. Do y'all walk around with the strap on, bro? Do y'all? Like, I really want to know that. Like, do y'all literally walk around with that whole on? Like, for shit show? Damn, like. <laughs> all day type shit? A nigga just on standby with the strap. <laughs> nigga on standby with that bitch. Uh, that shit is wild, bro. It's like, what? Is the pleasure only like a mental pleasure? Like, coming from pleasing others or... You know, like I said, that's a conversation that I want to have. I want to get into a certain type of shit like that. And it could be off camera. Because certain shit I do want to get an understanding because I do not understand. No cap. No cap. And that's not to shame anybody or hopefully not shame myself. I'm just really saying. You know what I'm saying? But understanding is needed if we're going to grow. We're going to build together, goddamn. Otherwise, the community just in more of disarray and everybody going their own laying on some crazy shit in our community bro individual success is champion so fucking hard rather than like group economics bro or just like group gratification bro like we got to get that shit together bro mm, mm okay 
Google Bay was like, need to pull up or something, man. But we're gonna do that for shit show, you know, smoke, chop it up, do our thing, man. But anyway, we wanna get back to it. I was just letting y'all know, touching on a couple uh, current events, let y'all know what we is gonna dive deep into a little bit later. But wanna get back to like the story of the Dallas Pioneers and shit like that. Some other people that I forgot, Mr. Pookie and Mr. Lucci was definitely out here. They was definitely out here. These niggas already had they, you know what I'm saying? They had to hit the radio and all of that, I think, by then. Like I said, I'm a bit some people, and that's just what it is. Oh, for shit show, like, I, I, I don't mean to. It's, it's nothing intentional. I'm not on no whole shit, no shit like that. Like, just saying what's on my mind, my nigga, you know? And, uh, it's a lot of people like that. Well, not a whole lot of people, but it's some people like that, like Mr. Pookie, Mr. Lucha, like them niggas. They all like one of the first ones, period, period, to be rapping in Dallas on some more shit, more shit like that. I forgot Diamond D used to be with uh, <laughs> a lot of niggas. I ain't gonna even know who the fuck that is. Diamond D used to be with Lil Tony, uh, Lil Twist, do the Texas Twist, just like this. Yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. It was crazy even watching all of this shit just. Like, just play out. She be a fool. I just be staying down and staying on it. Staying on the motherfucking gas till my time come. Because I know it's coming. I'm going to make it come. Fuck. Treat it like a bit. You know what I'm saying? That's a bit. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Who else did I miss, man? Because I know y'all come and let me know who I miss, man. I talked about us. I talked about them. So we can just go ahead and move on. So from that point on, you had your shit like your uh, Big Wheel Records and shit like that. These are people who started to break ground and get like single deals and get like fully noticed. So it, it, like shit started popping. I really do believe like we should have got behind that shit on some more shit instead of like. But I said that shit back then, bro. I used to always say that shit. Like, bro, Atlanta and them been just. Come straight on with the gangster through the nah, them niggas had Laffy Taffy, d l a bunch of that shit popping like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And they they city embraced it. And them same niggas embraced it. Then we got like the uh TIs and the Jesus and the Gucci's and all that shit. Then that shit flowed through. And all them niggas still be eating today, bro. By us not embracing that shit, we just allow every other culture to come here and steal. For like the Chris Brown, that uh, Cat Daddy that he did from the Ricky Bobby. Uh, the mother niggas who did the uh, the Dougie song. They went to damn near like number one on some crazy shit. I ain't from Dallas, but I did. At least they said shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But teach me how to dug it. That's still some bullshit. Lil Will already had that. Lil Will, another nigga who got the popping off early. Got the popping off early. Man, that scene was so crazy. It's just hard for me to remember everybody like that. You know what I'm saying? That scene was crazy in a bitch. Uh, Lil Will, who, who else was around that time? Nigga named JB. He, he was rapping around that time. My nigga DY, Trill Lee, uh, Prince Rick, them niggas was on it. Um, man, there's a bunch of niggas, man. I really do feel like, and not just because I'm in this spot, of course I'd be inclined to see a lot more of the truth this way, but I really feel like you should always pay homage or at least, like, big up the niggas who, who done came before you. It's a, a competition is one thing, but it wouldn't be no LeBron if it ain't no Jordan. We got to acknowledge that, and we got to acknowledge that these generations thereafter are only a lot greater because of evolution. You know what I'm saying? Just because you saw AI do that clean ass crossover, which was like the first, like the first this time, other than like Tim Hardaway shit like that, like when you saw that at like five, six, seven, eight, ten years old, whatever you was, nigga, and you practiced that every day from that point on, like he wasn't able to. You know what I'm saying? Like this, I don't know, man. This shit be so common sense, but just common sense ain't so common type shit. But man, I got some shit to handle, man. Uh. I'll be back. I just wanted to touch on a couple people that I did miss and some more people that I missed or, you know, oh, we got some interviews coming this week.